Turning overseas now to the war in Ukraine as that new Russian offensive threatens Ukraine's second largest city. ABC's James Longman is in Kharkiv with the latest. Good morning, James. Good morning, Janae. The destruction you see here is from last time Russia tried to occupy this region. Now they're trying again. Ukraine says they've stabilized the situation, but this could be part of a much wider Russian push. This morning, Ukraine's military struggling to hold the line as Russia continues to bear down on its northeastern front. Kharkiv, the city at the center of that fresh Russian advance, under constant threat. We've been in Kharkiv a few days now, and every day we hear missile and drone attacks coming in on the city. This hit just a few hours ago. We actually heard it hit. We've got uh, investigators here on the site. The house ruined, and you can see the crater there in the garden. We spoke to Marina. The missile landed just feet from her home. Her family previously moving here after being displaced from fighting around Slovyansk. Maria's story is sadly not uncommon. She's already on the move because of this war. She's lost her home elsewhere in Ukraine, and yet another bomb has found her. Civilians are being forced to flee Vovshansk and other surrounding communities, and they get aid in centers like this. This comes as President Zelensky signed new legislation that mobilizes convicts to the war's front lines. The country's dealing with a major manpower shortage and waning morale. During a state visit to China, President Putin seized on Russia's momentum in Ukraine by announcing plans to carve out a buffer zone in Kharkiv. And yet life in the city goes on. We took a look inside this underground school where students try to carry on with their routine away from the constant bombs. I think it's uh, strange uh, and uh, it's scary to us, uh, but we understand that it's uh, war outside and need to go to a safe place. Manpower really is an issue for the Ukrainians right now, but it's linked to weapons supplies. The more arms arrive in this country, the quicker they get here, the more men they can save. Janae? All right, James, our thanks to you for that reporting. And make sure to tune in to This Week Later this morning. Martha Raddatz speaks with Maryland Democratic Senator Chris Van Hollen about the, on, the, the 2024 race and the upcoming presidential debates, plus the latest on the uproar around Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito and Ukraine's fight against Vladimir Putin. That is all coming up this morning on This Week.